All right, Sarah. So we have achieved hitting the last day of your 12 weeks working with me and your ultimate fit family plan, as I like to call it. And in this, I just kind of want to learn from you, your, your biggest takeaways, all the things that have been helpful, um, all the things that you've learned in the past 12 weeks. Okay. So my first question for you is, you know, I'm just curious, what was life like before you started working with me? So for me, when it came to eating, it was um, like an all or nothing situation. Like I was either on, on a plan and like counting calories and, and weighing everything I ate um, to the point where it was like an obsessive um, type of deal or the other end of the spectrum where I was eating whatever I want, whenever I wanted um, and not worrying about it, but then suffering the effects of like the mental health of gaining weight and not just like not feeling like me um, and not just not just knowing that I wasn't doing what I needed to be doing, but there was no way to break that cycle. Um, I was not eating breakfast. I was not having like a healthy snack. I was not eating until I got home from work around three. And then it was just like a constant eating from three until I went to bed, even when I wasn't hungry. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it sounds like quite a few things happened there. You know, you, you improved overall your eating throughout the day less all or nothing, more kind of lack of binging on things at certain times because you either restricted or just wasn't the time of day for you to eat. Right. Made some drastic improvements there, it sounds like. Definitely. Yeah. So, so kind of besides those things or including those things, what, what problems were you trying to solve before we started working together? Um, a lot of the, like the guilt associated with eating and, um, just how I felt about myself when I was not doing in my mind, what was like, what I should have been doing or what was an appropriate thing for me to eat. So, um, because I didn't, because I didn't want to think about it, then I just ate whatever I wanted and I gained a, a whole lot of weight. And then it was more guilt because I didn't feel like I should look the way that I did. Um, And then it just became this cycle where I would do well and lose weight. And then I would fall off because something happened, an event happened or, you know, vacation happened. And then um, I just needed something that I could do consistently that would be a lifestyle change that would not be depriving myself of things that I enjoy. Like I would like to, you know, have ice cream or eat a brownie and not feel bad about it afterwards, but also not eat an entire pan of brownies at one time. Yeah. 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 So it sounds like this really helps you to get over the guilt of eating something that you felt was bad. Right. Helped you also get over the guilt of, you know, when you do bad for a long period of time, giving yourself such a bad guilt trip that then you had to, you know, go the other direction and count and portion and go crazy diet restrictive. Right. The guilt that you had had before. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, with all this and, and choosing to work with me, why over all the other options that are out there, did you decide to work with me instead? Well, I tried Weight Watchers before I tried calorie counting. Um, and I, nothing ever was a permanent solution. And I wanted something that was going to be a permanent solution. I didn't want to be something that I could, you know, oh, you, you only have to do this for this amount of time. And then afterwards you go back to your regular eating. I didn't, I didn't want that. I wanted something that was going to be my regular eating. Um, and I didn't know how to do that myself. Yeah. Yeah. So it sounds like, it, you know, all the other options that you've done before the Weight Watchers, you know, points or whatever we've done gave you a solution, but it was like a temporary bandaid, pull it off and right. we go back to the way that it was before. And yeah. this is a permanent solution giving you you know, the lifestyle change that you were lo really looking for all those years. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So, so what really sold you on making the investment when we talked way back in January, what was kind of, you're like, okay, I'm doing this. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't really a choice for me. Like I had hit, I'd hit a point, um, mental health wise where 
either something needed to change or I was going to be stuck in this cycle forever. And I was, it's, it, it got to the point where it, like my husband recognized that I needed to do something. So, you know, together we decided that I needed to start working on my mental health and seeing a nutritionist to help with that piece. So for me, it wasn't a choice. Like I had to change or it was, it was never going to change. And it needed to be something that I had input in and, in, and some <laughs> control. Um, so again, it, it wasn't really a choice. Like it had to, it had to happen. Um, and just knowing that you were going to offer me options. It wasn't like a, I knew it wasn't going to be, um, a restrictive, like there was, there was no, nothing that I couldn't eat. Like from that first, when you're telling me like, you can eat whatever, we're just going to talk about, you know, whatever the things that you can eat and when you should eat them and whatever. Um, I think that was the biggest selling point for me because I didn't want to, I didn't want to give up all of those things, but I also knew that I wanted to, again, not an entire pan of brownies at one time. Yeah. Yeah. So, so first of all, you know, I love how you said that, you know, you and your husband recognize that and that there's a lot of like mental health stuff that goes in there. That's yeah. so pinnacle. You know, when you think about nutrition, everybody just thinks, okay, you know, take out sugar and follow these things and you'll lose a ton of weight. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that to say that it will do that. However, it's, you know, that band-aid kind of like we had mentioned before, you know, covering that up. So you, you saw that and knew like, part of doing this program would one help with that aspect and two allow you to eat a brownie but not have to feel like you have to eat the whole pan of brownies or be like absolutely no brownie now right. it's, you could have a brownie every day and it's completely okay yes um, so you have to follow your lifestyle yeah and i don't feel i don't feel guilt about it i don't feel guilt about indulging every once in a while i love that i love that guilt-free living it's yes great. yeah awesome Awesome. So when we were working together in these past 12 weeks, what, what made you the happiest out of everything in the past 12 weeks? Um, I think for me personally, because I do get that obsessive, um, like whenever I'm on something like the fact that it has to like count calories or, um, you know, write down everything that I ate. Like it was like, here's what you can eat eat a portion and then, and then you're good to go. Um, and then being able to have access to you 24 seven. Like if I had a question, I was at the grocery store or, um, you know, any question that I had that was like nutrition based, like that I could reach out at, at any time, but, um, yeah, just knowing that you were there. If I had a question. I love it. I love it. So never alone. Right. Okay. That's great. That's great. So, you know, um, what, during this whole time that we've worked together, what have you achieved? I'm sure everybody kind of wants to know, you know, what did you get from it? So I definitely lost weight, um, from it. And honestly, it was a very big surprise. Like everyone that I work out with or friends and stuff, like, like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm eating so much food. It's the, it's ridiculous. The amount of food that I am eating now compared to what I was eating before. Um, and I can't tell you the difference between what I was eating now, like the amount that I was eating before and, and the amount that I'm eating now, but, um, I never felt deprived. I never, um, felt like I wasn't able to eat something that I wanted at any point. Um, so the weight loss was awesome. Um, I've lost inches. I've gone down a pant size. Um, and then just, it's a, it's, it's a little freeing, like the, the, the mind aspect of it, of not, not have, not dealing with that, like guilty feeling about food and like that obsessive feeling about food. Like, I just want to eat and enjoy it and not have to want to, I don't want to, I don't want to feel bad about eating. And that's how I was before. And now it's, now it's different. Like now eating is just eating. I love it. I love it. So, so quite a few things there. Let's unpack yeah. that a little bit. You, you lost weight, you lost inches, you lost, a, you lost a pant size. You had people notice 
asking you what you were doing, which everybody loves. Yeah. Um, on top of that, you, you had the freeing aspect where now you just eat. There's no guilt. There's no, should I eat that? Should I not eat that? Is that going to make or break me? Am I going to gain 50 pounds on the scale in a day kind of thing, but more right. like I'm free. I can yeah. eat it and I can relax about it and enjoy more of the moment and less of the focus on the food. Right. And even if I do, let's say have more than I should, like, I still am like, that was okay. Tomorrow's a new day. This next meal is a new, is a new meal. We don't have to sit and dwell on, on that. Yeah. I love it. That's great. So no dwelling. I love no it. Dwelling. No dwelling. I love it. I love it. So, so, you know, what, ex- on top of all those things that you got out of this, mm-hmm. what do you really exceeded your expectations, you know, in these weeks that we've been with each other? Um, well, I think that, you know, the last month has been a roller coaster for me with, um, like my own health emergency and then my kid getting sick and us being quarantined. Um, so just that help of during those times, like when you're like, this is survival mode. These are what you can do during this time. But like, I couldn't exercise, but I could control what I was eating and, you know, all of the help that you gave me with, um, like foods to help with iron, to help me get my iron levels back to where they were. Um, I really appreciated the fact that you were there to help me, help me do that. Help me get back into, you know, coming from that place of chaos where I was like out of control because I couldn't control what was going on with my body. I couldn't control what was going on with my son, but still give me some of that control with, um, with the food that I ate and, you know, just being, just being there to tell me what, give me goals to work on when I couldn't exercise. Well, then there's other things that you can do to, to motivate and stay on track. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it sounds like there that, you know, you know, prior to this, when there was like a bad day, it was just like an off day. Whereas now in the past month where we have been able less to control, you know, with the exercise and all that kind of stuff, we still had small goals and things you could achieve for those, as I like to call them like F days, right? Yeah. F nothing is happening, right? Now this is giving myself a whole like grade letter F, but no, the other word F too, right? (laughs) Working for me. And now that I I have something else to focus on, instead of it being like, okay, the day's just over, it's just blown. You were able to do that. And not just for a day, but for, you know, pretty much this past month, things have been not going your way. So (laughs) at all. So in that you were able to touch it. Yeah. Yeah. So I was still able to maintain all of the food related things that I'd learned. Um, Even when I was in the hospital, even when I was home from the hospital and I just, I could not think about food or cooking anything. Like the things that we ate were still things that um, didn't push me over my 80, 20 day. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, so quite a few things, you know, happened in the past month. And even with all of that, you were able to still live that 80, 20 life and yep. still, you know, maintain the results that you were trying to get even in this past crazy month. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So, so, you know, my last kind of question here for you, Sarah, is there's quite a few people out there that, you know, are kind of on the fence of like, should I join you know, is it worth the investment? Is it worth my time? For somebody that's kind of sitting there like investment-wise, time-wise, money-wise, what would you say to those people that are like, should I do it or should I not? Uh, definitely do it. I I loved when we like get going through, like it's different. It can be different for everybody. For me, um, you know, when we went through like the different things that we could choose for for me, um, I knew that calorie counting wasn't a thing for me because I know that in the past, like it's just become an obsessive thing. And I don't, I do not want to, I didn't want to be obsessed with food. So we talked about, you know, the different strategies, um, and landing on the 80, 20 lifestyle was 
out of all of the options was the best one for me because it didn't include all of those things that I know in the past have been like a, an obsessive kind of guilt trippy thing for me in my mind. Um, and it just, it got to the point where I had to do something. And if you're at that point, just do it. And it's, there's no, like, I, I don't, there's no other way that I can say, it, but you know, do it. It's worth it. It's worth every penny. It's worth every minute. It's worth it. I love it. Well, well, thank you for that. First of all, um, yeah. I personally agree, obviously, but I'm really glad that, you know, that, that, that worked for you and that, um, you were able to get, you know, through all of those things and, and see that, you know, there are other weight loss options out there. It just wasn't what was right for you. You needed yeah. the whole, you know, I, I want to move on and I don't want the next, you know, 30, 40 years of my life to still be trapped by something else. Instead, I really want to be able to eat the brownie and be done with it and live my life happily and healthfully and not, you know, plagued by the thought of the scale or the thought of the food or all of these other things. Yeah, definitely. I love it. I love it. Well, you know, I really thank you for your time and for, you know, taking your time yeah. off this video here with me. Um, I am hoping that, you know, I know you're going to do amazing things in the future and that this is going to just keep going on um, and that you're going to, you know, strive here in the next few months and come back even in three months being like, I'm still following everything, massively losing all these this weight and I look great and feel great. So I know I have every hope um, and I, and I know you will succeed in everything you do. Thanks. So, so thank you again. You're welcome. Thank you.